Alrighty, welcome back to Final Fantathon, our quest to casually let's play every mainline Final Fantasy game, plus some bonuses. It is so great to have everyone back here for episode 5000 of Final Fantasy X. Uh, I am really excited to finish today. Uh, we're jumping right into the hardest fights in the game, at least this version of the game. So I'm very excited. Uh, this series going on pretty long has uh, had us all talking about like the longest series, so we went back and looked. And I believe Final Fantasy IX is the longest that we've done. Mostly because it had been a while since I played the game, so I had to do a little bit of exploring, and then me trying to beat Ozma for the first time casually with no help took a while. Um, so yeah, that was that was the main reason why nine took a while. Um, but man, it, it does go to show you how much content is in this game because we got through the story relatively fast, given my knowledge of this game. Um, oh, I missed these. Uh, given my knowledge of the game, we got through the story pretty quickly. So, wow, that was eight defense too. It goes to show, show you how big the post game is. And surely we didn't have to do all this post game, but uh, part of Fantathon is that I want to do all the um, super bosses that I can because I personally really like super bosses. And I don't mind making Fantathon longer. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you want to rush through, but I certainly am fine expanding it because this is the highlight of my week every single week. You have no idea how and how excited I am for Friday every single week. Um, how blessed I am to have all you guys here every Friday. And a lot of you guys I've seen literally every Friday for the past two years and it just feels like you know we're friends like a DD group or something getting together every week to play like I, I honestly truly feel that way um so i don't mind <laughs> hopefully you don't and hey if you if you hate watching final fantasy 10 post game you can always just wait till the next game starts but i'm having a blast i just want you to know that i i there is no no part of me that's like, oh man, we have to play 10 again, or oh, I just want to get it done. Like, I am excited for it every single week, so. Um, and yeah, I'm excited because we're jumping into the hardest fights, like, right away today. I am going to do a bit of leveling up because we just barely got beaten by, I think it was Thuban last time, right? So, uh... I need to I need to level up a bit. I forget what it was. I said we needed uh, we needed something for the fight. I forget what it was. I guess I'll just go again and see what happens. Um, I don't have fortune spheres yet, do I? I haven't fought the guy that gives them yet. I think it's like the next the next guy that gives them. Uh, Riku, I don't need to level up. So I got... Level up more in a bit. What is this? This is Lulu stuff. Going this way. I have a few uh, cool things that we can look into if we end up getting through this before the day is over. Um, a couple things I didn't know about the game that we can check out if we have extra time. And of course, we also need to check out the uh, the Blitz Ball save, as promised. But for now, our only goal is take out these bosses. Oh, I do have two fortune spheres right at the top, but I don't really need to spend them on Waka. Oh boy, Orin got scanned. Perfect. Just bought Final Fantasy X-2 to start it together. So far, I've always shied away from it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Part, part of me is like, you should continue shying away from it. <laughs> I 
but part of me is like, yeah, come on in! <laughs> Join me, it'll be fun. Uh, oh, I forgot to do you. I, uh, yeah, I have a lot to say about Ten Two. I, I'm, I'm excited to play it because I just don't remember a lot about it. I played it through once. And that was it. And I was like, I'm, I played through it. Now I can never play through it again. Here I am. I'm gonna play through it again. But I remember very much enjoying the combat. Like specifically, remember enjoying the combat. So. It will be fun, even if it's painful. It will be fun and painful. I was trying to think of an example of something that's fun and painful. Nothing came to mind. For some, for some reason, wedding came to mind. I guess maybe if you go to, like, a cringy wedding. It's fun. Fun but painful at the same time. Life. True. True. <laughs> I don't know why wedding came to mind. Tattoos. Tickling. No, 10-2 is actually a pretty good game. It's just... Like... The principle of Final Fantasy 10-2 ruins it, but, like, for me at least. I hated the game as a kid, because I thought it ruined my favorite series. Oh god, that Bing Link. Don't make me, don't make me blacklist links. Uh, okay. So we'll just do this once, and then see if we can beat the fight from there. Um, oh, someone said something interesting in the comments that I never thought of before. Um, Somebody said that when they do the monster arena capturing, they put the double AP weapons on with um, with uh, the Slayer uh, overdrives thing. So um, You know, whenever they run into a battle that, like, they already have, they kill the enemy with the Slayer person. And you get quite a bit of XP from that, if you have Overdrive to AP. You need haste. That would be nice. So it's kind of a good way to, like, get jump-started on XP grinding. Yeah, that's pretty, that's kind of efficient. That's a cool idea. If that, like, if you did that, you probably wouldn't even have to keep track of how many you have of each monster. The reason I do that is so that I don't end up trying to kill anything that I don't need to. But if you were just killing everything, you already had ten of. I mean, I guess yeah, it'd be kind of nice if you wouldn't have to remember. But but yeah, like Slayer gives a ton of overdrive because it's rare that you kill an enemy during a battle. So apparently it gives a lot of XP. I should have given ti <laughs> Titus SOS haste. I think maybe what I should look into is getting auto haste. That's kind of the one big thing I'm missing on everyone that would help a lot. It makes, like, auto haste makes auto phoenix so much better. Not that it's already not amazing, but it turns auto phoenix from, like, oh, we didn't lose to, oh, we're ready to attack again. Do damage.
Yo, monkey, they give it the 30 months, man. Chill. I think I have enough wings for one, but the problem with auto haste is I think it costs like 99 wings, it's like stupid, or like 80. So once you put it on one character, uh, which I think I already put it on you, know, you run out, you have to get more. I don't remember the best way to get more. I'll have to look it up. It's probably bribing. Which means I might have to go on a money quest again. I might not need it on everyone, but at least having it on like Titus would be nice. Oh, it's not that expensive? Alright, I'll check it out. I expected it to be expensive. Oh, I gotta show you guys something. It's not related to Phantathon, but I was really excited about it. Anyone, anyone that uses, uh, anybody that uses, like, Excel and stuff will probably be like, I do that all the time, but. I had to show you because I was excited about it. So, on the Platinum Trophy list for Trophy Quest, another thing we do on the show. We have this side thing on the side here where it shows uh, top 10 easiest, top 10 hardest, depending on, you know, what we've done so far. Uh, yesterday, I went through and automated all of this. So all of these top 10 lists are all automated. And as soon as we add an entry, if it fits in one of these, it flops in there. And I had to learn like so many different formulas. Like <laughs> I had to learn like six different formulas that I didn't know. Like I basically did a course in Microsoft Excel to figure this out. So I was very impressed with myself. Uh, I even made a Hold on, I gotta flip my screen over because I can't read that small. I made a data sheet. Uh, here it is. I made a data sheet to grab all the numbers and all this stuff is automated. But like some of these, some of these like formulas I had to use got kind of crazy. I had to learn all sorts of different stuff. So, I was, I was, uh, I was impressed. I was impressed with myself. That I was able to figure it all out. I didn't need anyone's help. A, a lot of Googling, but I was able to figure it all out. <laughs> and like, it even, it even displays the, uh, like the the text, I had to learn how to like grab numbers out of text because the um, the way we show the the time isn't a normal number. I put like twenty to thirty hours, so I had to figure out a way for Excel to grab just the numbers or just the first numbers or just the second numbers, and uh, that was some like complicated stuff. This, that one, the one formula for grabbing numbers out of a string of text is like really complicated. Uh, do I want to go this way? This is what? what uh, Titus? Oh no, this is Riku. I'll go Riku. Especially for these crazy HP bonuses, but we're probably not breaking HP. I mean, I. 
Maybe I should break HP limit with Orin. Might help. He probably doesn't have as much HP as Titus, though. Maybe... Maybe I break HP limit with Orin, and then give Titus auto haste, and try to keep Orin alive. Also, by breaking HP limit with Orin, it kind of makes his ultimate weapon better. Wait. I want these before I keep going. I should have grabbed these first. Um... Yeah, I know Fat Steve is a pretty big exceller. Yeah, I was just proud of myself because I didn't even, like, know anything about it. I basically started from zero... Uh, zero knowledge of it, and I just learned it slowly. How does it make break eight? Because he does more damage based on how low his HP is. So, like, if you're at 9,999 HP, then low HP is, like, 2,000. But if you're at, like, 20,000 HP, then low HP could be something like 5,000. So we could actually, like, still be in range of surviving attacks and be doing good damage. You know what I mean? Like, it's harder to get him there. It's it, He has to take more damage to get there, but he's safer while he's in good damage range. If that makes sense. So I guess it's kind of good and bad. It's kind of a trade-off. Also, I'm running low on spheres for the first time. I don't remember the best way to get spheres. You can just go into like dungeons and kill stuff, but that's slow. I think there's some enemies you can bribe or steal from or whatever. Pretty much everything in the game you can get from the battle arena. The battle arena is the post-game hub. Just get everything from there. You need an enemy, it's there. Kill Kodo with a disto. Does he give, like, all of them? Oh, I see. You just pick the one you need. Okay. I think this guy has distills, right? Yo, be trained. They give her the 24 months, the two years. Two years already, what a ride. Also, I think two years is how long we've been doing Final Fantasy X. <laughs> yeah, just wait. Uh, you know, for as long as this game feels, just wait till we get to 12. is gonna be the real the real marathon uh okay where's Kodo Kodos. I didn't change my weapons I guess I don't really need to change Orin. Power! Ow. That was nice. Yeah, the post-game is pretty nuts. If you've never actually done it all. I remember the post-game in 12 being, like, one of my favorite things ever. So I'm... I'm I know I use the word excited a lot. I need I need a better synonym for excited. I am ecstatic to play 12's post game. Oh 
elated. Amaze balls. I am amaze balls. To play Bulb's close. I played it when I was a kid and thought it was literally infinite. Like, Final Fantasy XII felt like Elden Ring to me when I was a kid. I was like, this never ends. There's just an infinite amount of... <laughs> an infinite hour, infinite amount of hunts and just stuff to find. And I had never played an MMO. I know 12 is in MMO, but it's built kind of like an MMO. So that was like very new to me. I was like, whoa. This whole like way it does things is cool. Probably have to make sure you overkill him too, huh? Boom! 40. Nice. I guess we'll do one for each. Then we'll figure out auto haste. Holly! Thank you so much for the tier 3 22 months. Holy moly. That is really incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, can I do this without him countering? Probably not. Uh, I threw a distiller at him and he countered, so. But you can't throw multiple at him, can you? I didn't even think about that. Probably not. That'd be sweet if you could. Phoenix Downs are really strong in this game. The fact that they give you half health. If I break, if I break health limit, Phoenix Downs are going to give me like 7,000 HP. There's a mana. Do I need more Phoenix Downs? Uh, depends on the game, but I think most most of the games are 25%. I don't know what Phoenix Downs do with alchemy, actually, in this game. They might full heal you. I don't know if I need ability spheres. I don't think I do. Single target Mega Phoenix. Let's go. Yeah, Mega Phoenixes are crazy too. I'm not sure why they had them full heal, but it's cool that they did. I see something. If I'm at low health, let's say do less damage. So, for whatever reason, the ultimate weapons don't do their thing during overdrive. Ah. Yeah. 
Same with Final Fantasy X or seven. It's nice that Yuna can do big damage now. Speeds things up. All right, that should be enough. Uh, I need to change this before I forget. A little bit with Titus, so we don't have to do that much. We don't have to do all 99 right now, but... Yeah, I got plenty of ability spheres. Not really gonna walk it, or run out. Also, Titus has a ton of magic now. Like, he could... If I, I... I don't think I'm really going to run into any more enemies that I can't just attack. I think most of the gimmick enemies were in the monster creation, area creation. The originals tend to just be strong monsters. Um, but if I do run into someone where I need to use magic, Titus can do just as much damage as you. Maybe more. I think he has Ultima, too. Uh, I don't know a ton about it, but I believe, depending on some of the interactions in the game and how much you use certain party members, you can get different people to throw the ball. I had Lulu throw the ball once, I believe. Um... But I don't know who else. I think... Didn't I have Lulu throw it once during this playthrough? Because I hadn't, like, started using Yuna a ton in the party yet. But once I start... Once Yuna became part of my main party, now she always throws it. You've had Waka throw it before? That's funny. I kind of don't even want to get these, but whatever, we're here. I think I would drive everyone's OCD through the roof if I didn't if I just pass those and didn't grab them. The ball comes from nowhere if no one can throw it, that's hilarious. Well, if nobody throws it, if everyone's dead, does that mean you can just kill everyone but one person and that person will always throw it? Man, I kind of want this, but it's two level four spheres. I should have done it from this side. I mean, I'm about to get a ton of level 4 spheres, but... If a tree falls and no one is around to catch it, catch the blitz ball, does Titus laugh? <laughs> the internet says only females can throw it. Somebody is suspect. Somebody's giving us false information. I don't think I've ever seen Riku throw it. I know for a fact I've seen Lulu and Yuna throw it. My guess is that if you pick, like, all the good Lulu quotes, like the, you're more my type Lulu and stuff, and then you don't use Yuna in your main party, then Lulu will throw it. Not sure how you get Riku to throw it, though. Probably just use her a bunch and not use the other two ladies. 
Kind of similar to the way you get the Yuffie date, where you just try to be as mean as possible to Yuna and Lulu throughout the whole game and then just use Riku a ton. Okay. Now. Auto haste. And maybe break HP a little bit. I got plenty of space to put stuff. This actually isn't... I could use a, one of these. But I just happened to get this, so... I've been using it, but I could use a four slaughter if I want. Oh shoot, break HP limits on weapons, isn't it? Well, that's kind of a rip. Then again, I don't really need the Maza Moon. Oh, it can be on armor? I just don't have the right stuff, okay. Uh, I could actually make like an evade encounter weapon for Orin, but I don't think it'd really be that important. Okay, so what am I missing? I thought I thought I had enough to get break HP already. That's why I thought I was like, oh, it's not there, it must be on weapons. Because I thought I already had the stuff. Break HP limit is wings. Which are pretty tough to get. I think I had wings and then I used them on something. That's why. Um, you can win them from Shinryu, huh? Funny meme. You can get four from a Malboro for half a mil, yeah. That's not happening. That's not happening. So, looks like we're doing... Sticking to this. Um, now, I saw... You can get 50 Chocobo Wings from Machias for only 356k. So, Auto Haste is a uh, done deal. I didn't realize it was that cheap to get Auto Haste. I mean, it's still not that cheap because you need like 80, so that's going to be like 600k or 700k. I already have 19, of course. 19. <laughs> uh, alright. Where's Machia at? Hello. <laughs> it's 
like, hmm, if I stay, maybe I can get a little more. 51. I'll take it. Uh, wait, that's one more than it says you can get. Wait. That's exactly 70, that's cool. Can you, uh, is there any I can steal from just to get the extra 10? So I don't have to max out. Surely there's someone. Yeah, Cactuar. Does Jumbo Cactuar give it for not rare? Because I can get the rare steel, but I can get the regular steel easier. Oh yeah, he can give two. Nice. Two and it's not rare. <laughs> Honestly, if I wanted to save on money, this isn't even that bad of a grind. Well, then again, it costs however much to fight him. Put on my level up weapons for this. I would actually get some XP. Thank Holly. I think I did, but in case I didn't. Thank you, Holly. For the tier 3, 22. Yeah, I think I did. Thank you again. You take my second thing. Yeah. I think the cactuars run dry. Super weapons. Do this. Uh, you can always steal in this game. It just gets harder and harder to. Also, how did you miss? Also, those beetles are like flying in every direction for some reason. Okay, fine. Oh crap, can Bahamut? Yeah, you can. I was gonna say, can Bahamut break? limit like super early. Crap, I thought he had less HP. Maybe I just run. Yeah, he gives power spheres and also oh wait. 
do you give for a win? Plus of gems. I'm all set. levels that I get for that. Nice. Couple. Yeah, I don't think luck increases your steel chance. It's just like a flat that like halves every time you get a steel, which is such a great way of doing it. I've talked about it before, but this is like my favorite steel mechanic. It's really nice. Never feels cheap. Uh, the bonus stream was on Saturday, although depending on where you live in the world, it might have been Sunday morning, because it was Saturday night. Hey, happy late birthday. I've been told luck is crit chance and accuracy. Helps with accuracy, too. I don't think it boosts evasion, but... You don't need to boost evasion. Lulu and Yuna have like really good evasion throughout the game, and then once you get to the end, nothing really misses you. And everyone can get 255, and like, if the enemy's gonna miss you, they'll miss you, and if they're not, then they're not. <laughs> kind of the way it goes. Oh uh, no, I'm just getting auto haste. Ugh. This would be a lot nicer if you didn't counter. You could just sit here and steal, like spam steal. But it's kind of annoying because he counters. Yeah, like, if you can dodge the attack, you're going to dodge the attack, and if you can't, then you're not. That's kind of the way it goes once you get up the that much, that many stats. Okay, I think I got enough. Um, now the question is, do I put on Orin or Titus? Probably Titus. And the next question is, do I put it on a Tetra Shield, or do I put it on... Auto Phoenix Shield. Auto Phoenix is what, like 30 or 20 mega? Oh wait, no, it's more than that. No, Auto Phoenix is only 20 mega Phoenixes. I have 57. Is blind. Oh, it's all the way down here. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna put this on another. So, so I don't end up kicking myself later when I only have one open slot left. I need it. Alright, there we go. Now I don't know what else I want yet, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put anything else on it yet. Now, we could get 80 more for auto haste on Orin. I do have enough to get 50. And then I have to steal the other 30 or get some more money. I can probably sell a ton of stuff though. So maybe 
Maybe I see how much money I can make just from selling. It's like a lot of these spears that I'm never gonna use are good money. <laughs> this weapon is so cool, but I'm never gonna use it. Especially not in this playthrough, because we're not using these characters anyways, but... A lot of... Expensive mods. Ooh, that is so cool. I really wish I got this for anyone else. Yeah, I already got... I already got some big money. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Well, it looks nice, but honestly, those three things are never going to happen to Riku. I like Phantom Shield, but I'm never going to use it. That, but I'm never gonna use it. I like that, but I'm never gonna use it. There we go. Now we got enough money for two. Let's just do it. Hey, how's it going, Nightmare? Great to see you. This is going to be better than break HP limit, and then Orin can die without too much problem. Right, now listen, I'm going to give you the correct amount, plus two. Go the first time. Don't be greedy. Gave me 42. It's gonna go buy sneakers. Those are some pointy sneakers. Bribe seems like such a weird mechanic. Like casually. Well, give me a Tetra Shield. It would be so annoying to try to like give an enemy enough money for him to run away, but having no idea what the actual amount is. I'm just sitting there guessing. And then even on top of that, when you get the amount right, he might still not run away until you give him one more money because of reasons. All right. They're all set up. Wait, get the wrong one. Here we go. Auto haste, auto phoenix. Ready to party. Wonder how much damage unit can do with Nirvana now. Like at full eight, full MP. Let's just see. Let's just use whacking for some damage now. Let's 
turret. Eh. She's almost ha she almost has as much strength as Waka. But still not that much yet. Probably close to doing nines, but not double nines. All right, let's give this boy another shot. Um, let me think. I think the only issue that we might run into is Confuse here. So I'm either going to have to throw out Neon during that part again, or put Anti-Confuse on my armor, but I don't know if I want to do that, because it might be wasting it for later. Well, let's just uh, try and see what happens. Figure it out from there. Alright, I start with a million turns, that's a good start. And I can start with Banshee Blade. This version doesn't have Ribbon. Which really complicates things, because... Like, for example, if I want to get through some of these helmet attacks, I need to at least have Anti... I need to have Confuse Proof and Berserk Proof. And at that point, you've already used up two slots, so it's like kind of a struggle. Um, one thing I could do is I can make a confused proof, anti proof armor and just swap to it before the attack, but that's also a bit complicated. It takes a turn, although a very short turn, but. Titus is very speed. Holy moly, very speed. You cured a fool. Okay, so I believe he does a physical attack here. Actually, I have time to do now. I didn't have time to do that before. But now that I have auto haste, I do. I think I can survive a big boy attack. I don't have many turns after this, so this might be kind of spooky, but... Ooh, we're doing real good damage. I might want to look into getting some luck for Titus so we can crit on some of those. Ah! That was, that was some big boy damage. We should survive this. And then I believe he's going to rainbow this turn. So I either need to swap equipment or summon. I'm just gonna summon. Uh, the first hits of Blitz Days can crit. But like, I don't think the final hit can. Uh, I don't think there's too much reason to... Well... 
I guess it's Sidney's turn anyways. But... No, trio of nines just do, does nines, not double nines. No matter what. It's incredibly broken throughout the regular game, but it's not really used in the post game. Oh my god, look at Cindy's HP. And we're immune to everything. I think the, the ladies are gonna actually do some work here. Let's just throw them out for fodder. The only problem is he's gonna Ronald. I don't have to spell. But I guess I could. I could take him out and de spell him and throw him back in. Oh my god, that damage through the back. In fact, if I if I take him out before they die, then they can take another rainbow for me, which is gonna be even more helpful. So that's probably what I'll do. Let me see what he does next though. Actually, he's gonna he's gonna big blast one of them. Yeah, hopefully it's not Cindy. Yeah, I think the the girls have gotten to the point where they can uh, actually do a lot in this fight. Let's revive Sandy. Unfortunately, now I gotta wait because Rainbow's coming. I'll wait for Rainbow and then dismiss. You heal? That's not healing. Okay. Help each other, Cindy. Big butt attack. KHP. Cannonball! <laughs> Alright, now we dismiss. Uh, the only thing that sucks is we don't have a ton of turns, but he's gonna kill one person anyways. Uh, so it's not really a big deal. I don't even need to put up auto life. I don't think it even matters. But, uh, we're not protecting. Stupid. Uh, stupid condemn. Getting rid of protect is so annoying. That's why auto haste is such a big deal. Because it's permanent. Oh, okay. I like that. Uh, I think we can dispel for free, right? Doesn't counter. Yeah, this is so much more manageable now. Need more X potions. Or I need to get more in. Really, it was it was auto haste because condemn getting rid of haste just killed all of our turns. Even if I cast uh, haste Day haste Dega right afterwards, it was like too late. All our turns were gone. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's gonna kill someone. If he attacks. Start with enough to protect again. I'm not even sure if I need protect to survive condemn. It'd be better just to heal. You 
Yuna might need protect. Or at least guard. We are very close to finishing 10. First. We uh, just have a few more sewer bosses to do. And the final stretch here. Ah! He doesn't dispel that though, because I thought he did. I think death dispels it though, doesn't it? Has died, so it's not a complete waste. Um, so do this. Girls are back. As long as I can keep them alive, I can do this forever. Once they die, I have to kind of sacrifice fly someone. Uh, that's weird. Oh, because we're cursed. <laughs> I was like, why can't I use my overdrive? use now. That means you do have protect. And even better protect, because it's faster. How about that? Does Orin have any trust yet? Give him in trust. I was like, it's useless. Yo, let's go, Narco. Alright, don't kill Titus. Love of Sonic Origins? Nice. I saw some gameplay of the new Sonic game, and it's just 
as bad as we thought it's gonna be. <laughs> it looked really boring. Hopefully they fix that game. Right now it's not looking hot. Ah, oh, Titus, you're so close! Yeah, it looks really bad. Like, not even, like... I don't know, I, I do feel like sometimes we're, like, spoiled with some games, you know? Like, we just expect every game to be a masterpiece. I try to put myself in, like, the brain of, like, a kid. And be like, well, you know, as a kid, they're not looking at all this, like, mechanical stuff. They just want to know, like, if it, is it fun, you know? So maybe I should look at it through the lens of, like, being a kid, right? No, that game looks bad. Even as I wouldn't even have my kid play it. I don't think he could. <laughs> I don't think he would enjoy it. I, it looks so boring. It's just like it's it's so nothing. It's it's yikes. Hopefully they because apparently they've already had a bunch of like testing with it and feedback. It, just, it feels like no company uses feedback anymore. We were talking a little while ago about how, uh, like, quality assurance doesn't exist anymore, and especially like, um, Warren is defending. He might actually. Oh wait, no, he's not. He's just a case. He just looks like he's defending. Um, game testers, like the the job of being a video game tester, is wildly different than it used to be. I knew uh, a couple people that had tested games before. Huh. And it's ba Ooh, zero seconds on the clock. And uh, back in the day, it was much more like you would expect it to be, where like you get the game over a weekend and you like test it and draw up all these notes and like stuff that you think can be improved and then. You know, not all of it makes it into the game for sure, but it's all stuff that, like, they take into perspective of, like, how long would it take us to fix this? Is it worth fixing? Etc. Etc. Right? Oh, I should have just used that one. Um, nowadays, QA for a game is literally they have you come in and play the game in front of them and just see if it breaks, is basically, does it, you know, did it break, yes or no? That's basically the extent of it. It's not about getting your opinion, it's about testing the game physically. So it seems like a much more like, run-of-the-mill job and not something where you're, like, respected in the industry for being, like, a good tester. You just... The guy that tests it to see if it breaks. And, you know, not to mention, half of QA testing now is just making the game beta. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Just have a, have a bug report system and it's tested. <laughs> it has changed a lot. It used to be a respected field where, like, not only were you testing the game, but, like, you were kind of part of the game building process. Now it's nothing like that. Um, there's a chance that Rainbow is not next, but it probably will be next, so we gotta, we gotta do this thing again. Is so good. 
You should be so much slower than it is. Yo, Arco! With the 10,000 bits in the chat, can I get some love in the chat for Arco? Sonic Origins on the Trophy Quest. Interesting. Thank you very much, my man. Help each other. Taking a break. I like taking breaks. Yeah, I did, Darth. Uh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I did. They're up there. You may, <laughs> maybe second guess myself. Nice. It is so nice when he wastes a turn doing that. Also, I would... That's really interesting. So, if you grand summon a summon and then dismiss them, they lose the overdrive they get from the grand summon. It's like a one-time deal, which makes sense because when you use it, it goes back to whatever they had previously. So you can like double overdrive with it. But it's cool to see that like it actually goes away if you dismiss them. Oh, I forgot the despell. De yeah, all I have to do is despell, and we're back to. We have like all these free turns. I really need X potions. They're so much faster than carrying. that curtain. Throw it with extreme prejudice. I only have two turns, but I'm not afraid. I know what he's going to do. Dude, I am the exact opposite. Ah! I have the exact opposite mindset of you, Kylio. Yeah, we did it! That was a really great fight. I had everything figured out. Oh, sweet. Heartbreaker. What is that? Do? Oh, triple overdrive. Triple overdrive and three open slots. Holy cow. Um... Yeah, whenever I... Well, I don't play mobile games very often, but... I had a couple mobile games that I played, and when it was announced that they were going down, I immediately stopped playing. Because it was like, what's the point? <laughs> I never had that, like, oh, I gotta play it before it dies. Like, no, it's dying. Nothing I do matters anymore. I'm <laughs> never playing this again. And that's kind of the feeling I get with a lot of mobile games. It's like, what is even the point of all this? I can't... I can't go back to the save and check it out when I'm older, like, it's just gone forever one day. As soon as a mobile game starts, you have to play it with the understanding that one day everything you do is gone forever. That's kind of part of the reason why mobile games just don't do it for me. I mean, sure, all of gaming is kind of like that. All of gaming is like, at some point you're not going to care about it anymore, it's really just fun. but. It's just that feeling of knowing that within the next couple of years, not even like down the road, but in the next couple of years, it's probably going to be gone. 
something like Mario 35 or no, it wasn't 35, was it? Wasn't it Mario? Wasn't it more than 35? Maybe not. Anyways, like the the Mario game or the Tetris game or whatever. Oh, it was 35. Okay. What what was the Tetris one? Was that one 100? You know, I was getting those two confused. But like Nintendo said it wasn't even going to be around for long. 99, okay. Nintendo said, like, it's not going to be around for very long. So immediately I was like, why would I play this? Like, <laughs> it's such a waste of time. It's just going to be gone in a couple months. So that, and, and I, that doesn't mean, like, no one can play it and have fun. And certainly it's, like, cool to play it while it's around. But that's just my personal feeling. Like, whenever I see something like that, I just kind of feel like, eh. What's the point? It's a waste of time, but at the same time, all games are a waste of time. So if you look at it that way, it's like not a big deal, but that's just kind of the, the mindset I have going into mobile games sometimes. <laughs> 